Hi, I'm Rick Hoadley, Technical Program Manager with the Custom and Configured Drives Group here at Mequon, Wisconsin. What I would like to do is demonstrate our harmonic mitigation demo unit, which really shows how we can affect the line current harmonics on an AC drive by operating either 6 pulse, 12 pulse, or 18 pulse operation, or also by having a line reactor in the circuit, and also the effect of a DC link choke on those line current harmonics. What we have here are really two pieces for this harmonic mitigation demo. The console, which has in it a 12 pulse transformer as well as an 18 pulse transformer. And these feed an AC drive, which is our PowerFlex 700. It's a 15 horsepower drive. This drive is connected to a 15 horsepower AC motor, which is mechanically coupled to another AC motor which can then be connected across the AC line and with this we can then operate with full load on the motor with the drive by operating slightly above 60 Hertz. Let's get started. What we'll do is we'll start with six pulse mode of operation. So we'll have our switch here in six pulse, we'll have the line reactor in the circuit and we have the DC link choke also in the circuit. We'll have our preset speed set to 1, and we can start the drive. See, we're operating at 60 hertz. We're at no load right now. So we'll turn on the load motor and bring our preset speed up. Now we're operating slightly above base speed. We're at full load. And now we can take a look at the line currents which are being produced by this drive. What we see on this display is the line to line voltage between phases two and three and the line current on phase one. This is the line current for the AC drive when we're in six pulse mode of operation. We have the DC link choke in the circuit and we have that 5% line reactor in the circuit. So this is something which you would typically see out in the field. When we switch the line reactor out of the circuit, we see that the line current really has a lot more ripple to it than which we had before. Now let's see what happens when we switch the DC link choke out of the circuit. See a major change here where this goes to a discontinuous mode of operation. Now, let's take a look and see what the spectrum looks like for each of these waveforms. We'll start right here. This is a spectrum for that line current without the DC link choke, without the line reactor, in six pulse mode of operation. The fundamental current, which is the first bar right here, is at about 16 amps, 15 or 16 amps. We see that the fifth harmonic is up around close to 80% of the fundamental current. That means about 80% of the fundamental current is simply the fifth harmonic current. Now when you add the fifth harmonic and the seventh harmonic and the other harmonics together and you compare that current to your fundamental, that's what this number is right here, the THD. It says we have 112% of harmonic current compared to our fundamental current. So for 15 amps of fundamental current, we have more than 15 amps of harmonic current in this circuit. Let's switch now by putting the DC link choke circuit back into our drive. So now our drive has a DC link choke in it. And we can see how dramatically the fifth and seventh harmonics have dropped. So now we see our fifth is about, say, 30% of our fundamental. So our harmonic currents now total about 45% of the fundamental. This says that for 15 amps of fundamental current, our harmonic currents are about half of that, or about seven and a half amps. Let's see the effect of putting that 5% line reactor into the circuit. Again, we see a drop, a significant drop, in the fifth and seventh harmonics as well as the others above that. You can see how our 
total harmonic distortion has dropped then from that 45% down to 24%, about half of what it was before. Now let's see what happens when we go to a 12 pulse mode of operation. Let's take a look at this. In 12 pulse, we see our characteristic harmonics, which are 11th and 13th right here. We also notice that all the other harmonics are much, much lower than they were before. And our total harmonic distortion is 7.3%. So again, with a fundamental of about 15 amps, this is saying that we have less than one and a half amps of harmonic current flowing in this circuit. Let's go to a 18 pulse mode of operation. Now, in 18 pulse operation, its characteristic harmonics are up here at the 17th and 19th harmonics. And again, they're very small compared to our fundamental. In fact, we see that our harmonic current is only 4.3% of our fundamental. So this is saying our harmonic currents are about three quarters of an amp compared to what it was before when we had no DC link choke and no liner reactor, which was around 15, 16 amps of harmonic current. A major reduction in the harmonic currents right here. Now let's see what the current waveform looks like under these conditions. These are the line current going to the drive with 18 pulse operation. You can see it looks almost like a sine wave. There's little steps in there. There's about 18 small steps of current making up that sine wave that looks real nice and clean. Now let's also take a look at the waveform in 12 pulse. Here's the 12 pulse line current. Again, it looks very nice, almost like a sine wave. You can see it's a little bit more ragged. The steps are more pronounced than they are with the 18 pulse operation. But still, these are a major change from what we see when we're operating in six pulse. Let's go back to six pulse just for the comparison. Again, this is the six pulse operation. And this is a typical line current you see, which is uh, really squared off. And uh, the harmonics here again are much larger than they are when operating either with 12 or 18 pulse. With this, we were able to see the various line currents under different operating conditions. Let's stop the demo now. If you have any other questions concerning line harmonics with AC drives or any questions about this demo unit, please contact your local drives area manager and he'll be able to help you out. Thank you.